Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to another Kayla's Curls video. So today I'm going to be giving you guys another makeup look. Today I wanted to go for a honey inspired makeup look. The palette that I'm going to be using is actually going to be from King Beauty. Um, you guys have probably already saw me do the unboxing video and today I decided that I would use their mega rainbow palette this is originally sixty dollars but right now it is on sale for forty five dollars so check out their website and get you one before it's not on sale anymore i realize that a lot of their eyeshadow palettes are right now on sale for forty five dollars and like their regular prices range from like sixty to sixty five dollars i'm guessing it depends on which palette you go for but that's for the bigger palettes that they have to offer. They do have smaller palettes and I'm sure those are a lot cheaper. So if you're looking for a cheaper palette on their website, then I'm pretty sure they have smaller ones there available. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this sleeve packaging and it was in the plastic, but I did open this already. And yeah, so just uh little explanation but here is what it looks like as you can see it really is like the rainbow there are lots of colors ranging from purple to blues to nudes to smoky darker shades to neutrals and even some fall colors, even some like earthy greens there. There are a lot of colors in this palette. And I'm really excited to use this palette for a lot of the looks that I have because I noticed they have a lot of glittery, shimmery pigments in the palette. So I'm very excited to use those. I have a lot of looks planned from this palette, but today I'm going to be doing a honey inspired makeup look with this palette so let's get right into it i'm gonna start off by giving my face a little bit of a cleanse um i did wash my face earlier but you know it's summertime it's hot and i need a little freshening so i'm gonna go ahead and use this makeup remover and i just like using this to give my face a little bit of some extra you know boom <laughs> gonna start by doing my brows I am gonna go ahead and kind of speed through me doing them I've kind of showed you guys how I do my brows in my other makeup videos it is quite the same I keep it the same as always so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows real quick be looking in my mirror just in case just need to make sure I get them done beautifully All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a translucent shade for my lids there to have a base for the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna find like a nude type of brownie shade that matches, you know, my skin, my eyelids. So let's go ahead and do that out of this palette. I'm gonna go into this color here. It is called Fairy. This one here, and that is called Fairy. So before I continue, I'm actually going to take um, little pieces of tape and I'm actually going to put them like right here just so that it gives like a nice uniform 
um, look that I'm looking for. I think I put a little too much, but whatever. Go ahead and put this one on. And I just like follow my bottom lower lash line to my brow. And it doesn't need to be this big, so I'm actually just gonna like move it back a little. There. Okay, so now on to the next colors. I'm gonna get a different brush now. So I'm gonna go in with this packing kind of brush here. I'm gonna go into this shade called Credit over here. Right here under the shimmery brown here. It is called Credits. Well, one thing I must say is that the powder, the eyeshadow really does come out um, a lot. So as you could see like that um, fairy shade I was using, it came out a lot. It actually transferred from that pan to two other shades. Um, no issue with that. I can easily just blow it off. But um, when it comes on to leaving the palette, just leaving it in your makeup bag or in your makeup area, I think that it would probably blend in with the other shades. I don't think I really like that. So that's something I must add about this um, palette. So anyways, going into this nice brown credit shade, I'm gonna blend that into the crease and I'm gonna keep it in the upper crease area. So like right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it here. Just to give a nice dense type of look. And I'm just following the natural shape of my eye, but you can see how pigmented that color is. It looks really gorgeous. I'm bringing it a little bit down here. This color is really pretty, guys. Like, she re it's really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Very pigmented shade, so I'm just gonna blend it out. Right there. And I'm guessing I won't need to have um, too much more of a dip because that one dip kind of like really gave a good amount to the shadow so I'm just gonna blend this part here all right and same thing to the other eye I am gonna go in with another color to kind of blend the upper part of that crease area but for starters let's go ahead and apply this to this eye So I'm just going anywhere I need to with the shade. Like for instance, this side needs a little bit more on this part here. So I'm gonna go into the shade right here. It is called Flame, that color right there. And I'm gonna blend the upper part of my eyelid. You guys, their huge palettes are so big, you guys. It's like really hard to hold them sometimes but i guess that's a good thing so i'm gonna go into that shade karma and i'm gonna use that just to blend the top parts here just to make sure it's nice and um seamless on the top and just a little bit here just making sure it's all blended well like so And I lightly go near the brow bowl with this area and over. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the next shade now. I'm gonna go into this Bravo shade down here. This one. And I'm gonna blend that on the lower part of my eyelids. And I'm just gonna blend that like right here and fill in this area. Same thing to the other eye. Blend with that brown so that everything is nice and flush right to the inner and right to the end. So now I'm gonna go into this shade here in this palette here. Um, this one, it is called Planter. 
and I'm gonna put that on top of the neutral that you just saw me put on there on the lower um, lid so that's what that looks like on the brush just gonna put it on just gonna press it Push it on the lid, right into the corner, right to the edge. Ooh, pretty. And I just keep on putting it until I like how it looks. And I do have some make makeup remover on deck for underneath and stuff, and on the lashes. That way when I put my uh, lash glue on, at least it won't be in the way. Okay, so that's one. Go ahead. Kind of blend up here a little bit. Just like blend it kind of. I do have another shimmery shade that I saw in the palette that I'm going to use. It's on top. So I'm just going to put the most down here on the lower lid and save that for the top. So using the same brush, I kind of cleaned it a little bit. I just um, used like a thing here and just kind of like wiped it off. So now I'm going to go into the next shade that I'm actually going to put on top. And it's actually this color here called Dazzling. You can see that here. This one. And I'm not going to put too much, just like a, a tad bit just to give a little glistening glimmer on top. It's like blending it on top of this one. Looks like that, as you can see, so it's kind of a little bit shiny. Like how honey um, gets nice and shiny sometimes. That's how I kind of want like this to look. If you look at honey it's beautiful let me know down below if you guys have tried the honey in the freezer um kind of treat that they have and i'm kind of blending it on top a little here but i haven't tried it so i don't know if anyone else has i would like to i mean it seems really good i mean i already love to use um honey in my teas in my oatmeals and stuff like that so it's really delicious. So I can only imagine how good it must be in the freezer. But then I also always think like, isn't it a little bit too sweet to be doing that? Like it's already sweet by itself. So putting it in the freezer is just sounds crazy. It sounds good too, if you think about it. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go into one last shade here for the lids. I'm gonna go into this Addicted shade here. And this is like a shimmery white type of color. I just dabbed in it if you guys are wondering. I just like tested it out on my hand. So I'm just gonna put a bit on the upper part of my lids where I was just rubbing that, um, what's it called again? Dazzling shade. I'm just gonna tap it on like lightly. Look right here in between these two colors just to give a nice shine. So I'm just kind of going in with my finger just to blend it. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the upper um, lash line, or upper eyeshadow. So now I'm going to go ahead and take these tapes off. Ooh. Ooh. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face before I do the rest of my eyes. Um, if you guys have been watching recently, I've been liking doing uh, my eyeshadow first. I feel like it just saves more time and it's just easier rather than putting on makeup and getting it a mess all over. That way it can be easy to remove. So I am actually going to go in under my eyes and kind of clean up a little bit with this makeup remover. And I'm going to go ahead and do my face. So 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and kind of speed through doing my face. Um, I'm giving you guys like a basic of what I do when it comes on to like my foundation. So I'm going to be doing the same thing. I love using my Rare Beauty um, foundation. I've been using it for a while now. And then I also like using the Creaseless, um, what's it called? The Creaseless Concealer by Tarte. So I'm going to go ahead and start on my face there and now. And yeah. So first I'm actually going to do my contour. I'm actually going to be using the same contours, the same palette here that I was using a bit earlier, except I'm going to go into this contour, which is Hitting Pan, you guys. I've been using this for so long. It's Hitting Pan. I'm actually going to use my Beauty Blender to blend this out. in my face and I'm liking using the blender because it kind of like blends it out a little more that way it's not like a harsh contouring process so I'm going to be using this finishing powder by fit me and this is in the shade medium and I'm just gonna be using this to like do this hold on yo Put it on here. I'm using my beauty blender right under my um, contour. Or... So that's done. I'm not gonna leave it baking for too long, or leave it sitting for too long. setting underneath here where the concealer is just so everything looks seamless here so I'm gonna be using this brush here what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna line the waterline with a color here the shade here is called treasure and I'm use this to line um, my waterline like that okay and then I'm gonna go in with the same planter shadow there or press pigment and I'm also gonna put that on the lower waterline careful not to get it in your eyes guys okay a little shimmer a little color so now that I've done that I'm actually gonna take a brush and like brush away that setting powder now I'm gonna do a little bit of blush because my face is looking nude my cheeks and I'm gonna go in with this physician's formula butter collection that's what it looks like, and I'm going to be using this shade here. Actually, I think I might go in with this butter one, and it's called Butter Blush. A little on the nose, too, just for a little cute redness. I've been really liking this Hendayan highlighting powder, so I'm going to go ahead and go into this. And I like to use my fan brush for this part, so I'm actually going to put that on top of my blush, like around here. Because when I think about honey, I think about like glitty, like glitzy. So it's like really shining, especially if you put honey in the light, it just looks so cute. And just so pretty, such a beautiful 
color honey is. I love honey. Let me know down below in the comments section if you love honey. That way I know you made it this far into the video. On my nose. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to put it on the bridge too. I do have another one but I kind of don't want to open it because this one still works pretty fine. And on my chin. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some lashes on. So these are the lashes I'm going to be wearing. This is also from King Beauty. These are what they look like in the packaging. This is how they look. I'm actually going to kind of like trim the ends and then I'm going to take that little bit of glue that's on there off. I'm actually going to take the glue off first. I'm just going to trim like a little bit on the ends here. Like just a little to so get that like top part off because whenever I do like my um, lashes it just always never sticks in the corner or the edges so I just kind of trimmed it a little bit so while I let these dry what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna like curl my lashes and also put some mascara like on top just so that the lashes have something to be guided onto. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The do I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using these um, eyelash curlers or just regular lash curlers. And then I also have this Essence Lash Princess or actually it's the What the Fake. Uh, this is a volumizing and lengthening mascara and plus volumizing fibers and yeah i don't know if you guys have ever heard of this one but i just recently started using their mascaras and i have their lash princess one and it works amazing Alright, so here we are with the lashes. I kind of ruined the eyeshadow on top. So what I'm just going to do is go into that same plantar shade with the brush I was using a bit earlier. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for the eyes and the face. So now I'm going to do my lips. I'm actually going to keep it neutral and glossy because I am going for a honey look. So I want it to be all glossy and shimmery. So this is how my eyes are looking. Let me give you guys a little bit of a up close and personal. All right, guys. So now on to the lips. I'm actually just going to clean my lips a little bit. I'm just going to use a little makeup remover and just clean them up a little bit from the foundation and concealer. So here is a nudie type lip liner here. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. And I'm actually going to fill them, fill them in with the liner. So I'm actually going to go in with this like kind of shimmery clear gloss. Okay, so this is basically the finished look. So now I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little setting spray. Kind of dry it off with something. Let's use this. Alright guys, so this is the finished makeup look. This is my honey inspired makeup look. I was going for a honey colored type look with a little bit of shimmery glitz because if you look at honey, honey is shiny in the light and it's just beautiful if you look at honey in the light. So I just wanted to be that honey 
in the light. Tell me what you guys think. Overall, I really enjoyed using the Mega Rainbow Palette. It was very easy to blend the colors. Just Ezra, I love this World Palette. It really is beautiful. It is big and glittery and has so many colors in here. Um, one color is actually gone. One of these greens is gone. But I actually have a palette of like all greens. So like, it doesn't matter, but it would have been nice if it was able to stick in there because nobody likes a palette that's falling apart with all the colors and the pans popping out. That is not cute. But other than that, so far, this was a great experience using this Mega Rainbow Palette by King Beauty. Again, I love their eyeshadows. I love how it works and how it looks on my eyelids and they're easy to blend and the pigmentation is great. But I also don't like that the pigments fall out of the pans, which causes like a mess to the other shadows. As you can see here, that fairy shade kind of got over the blessed color and the direction colors here. So um, I did try and like in a way, but it's only so much that will do for you. Other than that, guys, tell me what you guys think about this makeup look. Tell me if you guys think I look like a honey in the honey moonlight. That made no sense, but whatever. This is basically the finished makeup look. Let me know down below what your favorite thing about this look was. Was it the eyeshadows? Was it the lips? Was it the nice face? I'm actually really digging how my face is looking. Let me turn on the light. It's kind of like vibrating onto everyone. There we go. Um, but uh, the light was just kind of like making my face look bright because of the concealer under my eyes. And I didn't like that. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. I know my hair is looking crazy. My curls are all stretched out. But it's almost wash day. And I actually like my hair like this with this hairstyle. It's very cute. So anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end off this video. That was my experience using the Mega Rainbow Palette. And let me just say I loved it. It was great. Definitely worth my money. Like I said, it's worth $45. The original price is $60. Bucks, but right now they have a sale. So hurry up on over and go get you a palette of theirs. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your kind and nice thoughts down below and any questions that you may have or any messages you want to leave for me, you can leave that down in the comment section. And if you are new here and this is your first time seeing this beautiful face, then you need to hit that red subscribe button down below and hit the notifications bell too so that you will be notified every single time that I upload here on my channel. So with that being said, guys, this is pretty much the finished look at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I had so much fun playing around in these colors. So now I can't wait to go see my babe. Can't wait to see my babe. My boo. My boo. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.